Hey guys, welcome back. In this mini lesson, you'll be learning some of the basics of music theory. Now, this will just be part one as I wanna keep it short since I know sometimes this sort of thing can feel like learning a whole new language. I'm all about teaching the essential things while keeping it simple, so if music theory has ever seemed intimidating or confusing, this lesson is for you. You actually don't need to know a lot of music theory when you're first starting out, which that might be kind of an unpopular opinion, but knowing some essential basics is going to make this a whole lot easier. If you're not sure what music theory is, it's basically just the key concepts and rules of music. And I say rules because some of those rules can be broken and act more like guidelines. Now in music, we deal with sounds called notes, right? Well, there are seven main notes in the musical alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. There's no H in the musical alphabet, it just circles back around to A and starts over again. Each note has a certain pitch. Pitch is basically just the highness or lowness of a sound. So all of your guitar strings are tuned to a certain pitch. For example, the sixth string is tuned to E, the fifth string to A, and so on. When you're tuning your guitar, you're trying to get the string to hit the specific pitch of a certain note. Now, if the pitch is above or higher than the correct note, we would say that the note is sharp. It's represented by a pound or hashtag symbol. One way to remember this concept is to think if you sit on something sharp like a tack, you're gonna go up. Now, if the pitch is below or lower than the correct note, we would say that the note is flat. It's represented by a slanted looking B. You can remember this by thinking of a basketball that's lost some of its air. If it's deflated and flat, it's gonna go down. So sharp goes up and flat goes down. Now let's take a look at what this would look like when it comes to tuning our guitar. Let's say we're tuning the low E string. I'll go ahead and pick the string on my guitar and see how it compares to the tuner on my phone. So right now it's telling me that the string is flat. You can hear that it's lower when I play the correct pitch like this. So we just have to turn the tuning peg up to make the string, or the pitch, go higher to reach the correct note. All right, and now we're at the right pitch. Now we don't wanna to go too high or else it'll make the string go sharp, meaning above the correct note. All right, so now you've got some basics down. Stay tuned for part two, where you'll learn more about the musical alphabet and how it relates to the frets on your guitar. I'll see you in the next lesson.